Hey everyone, we're out here exploring today on Fire Road 68, just north of Mesa. So yeah, we've not been out here. This is a new road for us. We're excited to explore it. We didn't find out a lot about it online, so um, we're up for the adventure. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be beautiful. The ride up on the highway was, was gorgeous, so I can't wait to go around and do the off-road and see what things are out there. Yeah. Right now we're looking at a river, so it's getting exciting. And the desert is just about ready to bloom with all these wildflowers. So it has been a very beautiful drive up here. We've got a long day planned, fun day. We got, uh, it's St. Patty's Day, Fountain Hills near us. Has a, a fountain that they turn green. And we're gonna go do that and have some lunch after this. And then tonight we've got a concert in downtown Phoenix. Yeah. So we wanted to bring you guys along. She got me concert tickets to Whiskey Myers for my birthday. So we're gonna have a great evening, a great day. And uh, come along with us. We'll have a good time. Let's go. So here's what a photographer does when she finds a mud hole. As soon as we saw it right on the trail, she found a beautiful reflection. So let me tell you one of my favorite tips when it comes to puddles. If you take a shot from above here, well, you still get some reflections, but when you get really low on puddles, it just almost turns that puddle into a lake. And look at those gorgeous reflections. I'm gonna get my actual camera and take a real picture too, but I wanted to show you guys. If you have water and reflections, try to get down low to the water and you'll be amazed by the difference, the photo, the, the outcome of that photo. You want us to throw a rock in for you? Yeah, that'd be great. Really? I'm gonna try. All right. There comes the water. Oh, and then the sun comes out beautiful. Thank you. That was a great stop. All right. That was nice. Oh, come on. Found a rock. <laughs> this is just a rock. I thought we were sinking. We need a bigger boat. We need a bigger jeep. should have brought the boat. <laughs> So there's a, a bird on a cactus up here and the sun is behind it so it's really hard to get detail. It's more of a silhouette shot. But if you overexpose, you could potentially get some more detail out of the cactus and the bird. So I'm gonna try to overexpose just a little bit more. Um, it's gonna blow out the sky, but that's okay because I'm trying to get detail in the cactus and in the bird, so. All right, let's keep what, going. What mode are you shooting on? I'm sh shooting an Aperture Priority. Cool. So if you um, want some information on Aperture Priority, we just did a photo A to Z on Aperture Priority, and it'll help get you started on that. All right, so tell us what you're thinking, Warren. Well, we've come to the end of a trail here into a creek, and it looks like our map's taking us down the creek. And it looks a little rough, a little rougher than I want to take it today. And I'm afraid either I'll tear up my truck, the Jeep, or I will tear up a lot of nature and that's not leaving no trace so um, I think we're gonna back up and try a different spot off the highway and see what we can find out a little more maybe not so rough trail um, we're not sure on Gaia if we're actually on an off-road trail or on a hiking trail but the road has definitely come to a a bumpy end I'm sure some hardcore off-roaders um, rock crawlers could do it but there's a lot of boulders and as I always say I have a lot of payments left on my Jeep so I'm gonna back up and go find a different trail for today. Yeah, so. and it is our first time using Gaia. Um, we're trying it out, seeing how we like it, and and so we're still getting used to it. Um, this may be why we didn't see a whole lot about this trail <laughs> online, so, but gorgeous views nonetheless. Yeah, it is a beautiful area. All right, let's keep going. All right. So here are our plan B. 
Uh, we've always wondered where this trail kind of led to, so we're going to go up and take a look. By the time we go up the Beeline Highway, we see this entrance and we've always wanted to investigate, so let's give it a try and see where we end up today. Hey, so we stopped for a photo spot on this trail and while I was getting out I noticed these beautiful little yellow flowers and they've got a neat little shadow with this high noon sun. Oh, you just covered yep, it I up. Just, <laughs> this way. So I got out of the truck right up here and I could see these little shadows on this rock I thought was kind of cute. So after taking the photo of Four Peaks, I came down here and wanted to take a photo of just this little flower and its reflection. So or it's shadow so we'll get a luckily I got my wide angle with a macro on today so we're gonna get real close in and shoot the shot kind of cute we'll see what we can do with it but is you got to look for those opportunities out in nature you never know what you're gonna find out here so let's get back on the trail let's show them the four peak sounds yes. show them we stop for this shot here because you can see two of the four peaks in the distance there. But what we love is the way that these puffy clouds that we don't often have here in Arizona. We just love the way they are creating the shadows on the mountain. Just adds a lot of depth um, and texture that we don't typically get out here in the desert, especially midday. So we're just loving this area. Right, I had Warren pull over the car again because I saw this great shot here. Um, what, what I'm loving about this shot is now we have all four peaks earlier. We just had two of the four and we have layers here, which is really important landscape photography. So in the foreground, we have our desert landscape with the cactuses. Our middle ground, we have four peaks, the mountains. And in the background, we have these beautiful clouds. So I'm going to take this shot and I can't wait to share it with you. Shot a paint can. They didn't need to leave it in the desert. Hey guys, we just finished up Fire Road 11 here in Tonto National Forest. And my goodness, what a great day it's been. Mary, what do you think of the trail? It was beautiful. The conditions were perfect for photography. We had some great water crossings, these beautiful poofy clouds, which help add drama to the landscape photos. And we're gonna put some of our favorites on forloveandcraft.com, some of the video some of the pictures you've seen in this video. Remember, all proceeds from our images in forlovingcraft.com are donated to Feed the Hungry. So if you'd like to go take a look at that, we would truly appreciate it. But now we're going to go get some lunch in Fountain Hills, see the fountain shooting some green for St. Patty's today. We'll make sure to include a little bit of footage so you guys can uh, see it as well. Yep, I'm glad you guys joined us today. As Mary said, it's been a beautiful day. We've had some great photo stops. We found some great campsites. We've made a track on on uh, Gaia so we're trying that out and trying to build tracks and we're ready to get out on the trails again but until next time get out there and explore create and do, and do good, good. Bye. bye guys
Till next time, get out there, explore. <laughs> I need to do this already. <laughs> do good. <laughs>